It was business as usual for Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi on an official visit to Afghanistan a day after voters delivered a blow to his ruling Democratic Party in local elections. His party vowed to push on with its controversial labor and education reforms, despite anti-establishment and Eurosceptic parties having a strong showing. His party suffered a setback by losing Liguria to Silvio Berlusconi's center-right forcer Italia. But the Democratic Party managed to hold on to four regions and snatch one from its opponents in Campania. Renzi's government had hoped for a convincing result to push through reforms. It really isn't that much significant in terms of the capacity of the Renzi government to stay for now. Because the Renzi government, in my opinion, at this stage, is, uh, has a role to, to carry out in terms of reforms at the national government level that no other party, no other coalition at this stage can really fulfill. Italian newspaper La Stampa was less sympathetic, saying it will be harder for Renzi to govern. The low turnout at 54 percent showed disillusionment among voters after a campaign tainted by corruption scandals and internal party battles.